Hey there, Disney glam and ghoulish fam, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jossim, AKA Awesome Jossim, and I wanna thank you for clicking on my video. On this channel, we like to celebrate Disney, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you like any, or all of those things, consider bippity boppity bopping that subscribe button, ring the bells of notification so you're instantaneously notified when I post something new, and please leave a big old thumbs up at the end of this video if you liked it all the way through. Now today, I am so excited because I have a new video for you. Yes, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm gonna be unbagging Wishables. <laughs> so I am so very excited because I have been seeing Wishables all over the internet, all over the parks, and honestly, I liked a few of them, but I didn't find any of them intriguing enough to actually go ahead and jump in and buy until I saw these. Now these are the Disney Parks Wishables Coco Edition and absolutely I knew as soon as I saw it, I needed to pick them up. So today we're gonna go ahead and unbag three of the Wishables and I'm also gonna share the chaser or the specialty one that comes outside of the bag. So starting out this little haul, I went ahead and picked up the specialty Wishable that actually comes separate from the mystery bags. So this one is absolutely absolutely adorable. It is Pepita in her alabrije form, and I just love this character. Literally in the movie, she makes me laugh so, 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 so much, especially when she's like on the hunt for Miguel. But I loved this specific Wishable. It's super colorful. It's very soft and very plushy. I think Disney did a phenomenal job when they released these because they're unlike anything I've really seen before. They're smaller plushes, so they are travel friendly. They're perfect for just a small trinket or a gift for anyone. But I just love that they are so full of character. Let me go ahead and bring it in for a closer look. All right, I know it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's go ahead and dive into these blind bags. Now, when I was in World of Disney, I was with one of my great friends, Jamie. Well, she's actually my sister-in-law, soon to be sister-in-law. Anywho, that's another story for another day. But anywho, Jamie helped me to choose these three specific bags. Um, I am not a Wishables person, so I don't really know the concept, but I do know that sometimes you can squeeze the bag to try and feel out the shape of the character. So in these specific bags, there's gonna be four different options to collect. You're gonna have Miguel with his guitar, and then you do have Hector in his sugar skull form. We also have Ernesto de la Cruz, and we also have Dante. Now, out of all of these, I really think I want Miguel, of course, and I do want Dante. Now, I have heard over the internet that there's a few chasers inside the bags. So what does that mean? You're definitely gonna have all of these characters as an option, but a chaser is traditionally one of these in a slight variation. So for instance, there's a chaser of Miguel that I found out that has his sugar skull painting on his face. I think that's awesome. I totally would die if I got that one. And then we also have Dante in the alabrije form. And that's the one that I really, really, really want because I don't know, just something about Dante as an alabrije made me die laughing. And I just really enjoy his character. So I really hope that I get um, Miguel or Dante in either form. But if I got the chasers, that would be just creme de la creme, the cream on the cake, chef's kiss, amazing. All right, so this one, let's see if I can feel it out. This one, I feel... This one I really think is either Ernesto de la Cruz or Hector, just because I feel like the little feet shape and the hands, I don't know. Let me stop guessing and just go right in, okay? I am gonna go ahead and show you guys first. Who is it? Oh my God, it's Miguel, yay! <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so we have Miguel. This is so awesome. This is the one that I really, really, really wanted along with Dante, so I'm so excited. Let me bring him in for a closer look. looks precious so of course he's in his beautiful little red hoodie he has uh ernesto de la cruz's uh guitar so that is so unique and so special sorry there's a little bit of fuzz coming out and of course he has his cute little head now one thing that's unique to wishables is that they actually so uh sew stars in their eyes and i think that just makes it look absolutely super precious he even has his little beauty mark like in the movie oh my goodness so cute i cannot wait to display him all right so the first bag was a success let's move on to the next one okay so this one this one feels a little bit bigger. So actually, I really think this one is probably um, Ernesto de la Cruz or Hector. Oh, it's so hard. I really hope I don't get a double. Anywho, if I get a double, I get a double. What am I going to do? All right, let's go ahead and see. I'm going to show you guys. Oh my god, yes! Oh, this is so cool. All right, so I got Hector in his cute little skeleton form. This is so precious. Okay, so I absolutely love all of the details on this wishable. He has his sugar skull. He even has his little gold tooth. He has his facial hair, his little hat. This is absolutely precious. Let me bring him in for a closer look. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So we have Miguel and we have Hector. Now, if this last bag has Dante, I'm literally gonna be over the moon excited because that's exactly what I wanted. Um, I mean, I didn't, I don't mind if I get Ernesto de la Cruz, but really Dante is the one that I really, really, really wanted. So let's go ahead and see. Ooh, this one feels pretty big. It may not be Dante. I don't think it's Dante, but anywho, let's open her up. Oh, okay, so we did get a double. I got another Hector, but that's okay because he's so cute. And honestly, I think I have a friend in mine that would love to own this wishable. Super duper cute. And there you have it. That completes my unboxing. No, it's not unboxing. My unbagging of the Wishables Cocoa Edition from the Disney Parks. Of course, I'm not too happy that I got a double, but that's okay because I'm probably gonna go ahead and either trade it or gift it to a friend. But I really am excited to have these in my collection and hopefully I can find Dante within the near future. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, do you collect Wishables? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, friends, I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a big old thumbs up. Most importantly, stay beautiful, friends, and have a magical day. Bye. <laughs> I love Coco so much. It's so cute and the story and the music. Remember me, though I have to say goodbye. Remember me, don't let it make you cry. For even if I'm far away, I'll hold you in my heart. I sing a secret song to you each night we are apart. Remember me, though I have to travel far. Remember me, each time you hear a sad guitar. <laughs>